TYT Sports, Ben Mankiewicz here. Yahoo Sports, I believe, broke it first yesterday. What everyone has known for a while, but that apparently we've now confirmed that there is a deal in place for the Timberwolves to send Kevin Love to the Cleveland Cavaliers to join LeBron James and Kyrie Irving to form what would appear to be the most fearsome big three in the NBA. Uh, there is nothing that would keep either team from pulling out of it before the deal can be officially agreed to. Andrew Wiggins, as most people know, the number one player taken in the draft. He signed his contract. He can't be traded for 30 days after his contract is signed. The deal will be if it goes through, and it appears it will, for Wiggins, Anthony Bennett, the number one pick last year, who is finally maybe showing some signs of potential, and a protected number one pick in the future. So now we think about what the Cavs, we can sort of now really look at what the Cavs might be like with both Love and James and a real point guard. And that's what I'm most interested in is seeing LeBron James and how he adapts to a guy who's a real genuine point guard who's gonna be bringing the ball up and who's also a scorer. So what we do know is that James is a, the best player in the NBA and also a terrific defender. Uh, uh, what we also know is that other than rebounding, which seems to me a pretty critical component of defense, Kevin Love is not a great defender, and early in his career, neither is Kyrie Irving. So the Cavaliers may not be a good defensive team. But the guys at 538.com, they ran a projection of what the Cavaliers' one-loss record looks like with those guys in the lineup. And significantly, it was 63-19, and 19, which is a, obviously a great year and instantly makes them a championship-caliber club, if that's true, uh, using the NBA real plus-minus as their projections. So if you're buying 538's wrap, which in general most of the time I am, of course this, I am, the, these projections are wildly fluid and a lot of stuff could go wrong, these guys could not play well together. But they ran that projection at 63 and 19 and that didn't count Anderson Verajao staying on the Cavs. They presumed and then when they ran the projection that he would go in the deal to bring love. He's a terrific defensive player, so he's not going in that deal. He's going to stay in Cleveland, which makes them a better defensive team, at least on the interior, uh, because he can protect a little bit against Love's weakness. So now, the new projection from 538 with the Cavs, with all three of those guys, plus keeping Verajao, is a 65-17 and 17 record. Then we're into beast record territory at 65-17. and 17. So right away, LeBron James said when he came to Cleveland, came back to Cleveland, we're not ready to win a championship right now, it will take time, it would appear they're ready now. Uh, and who wouldn't like to see that team in the finals with Kevin Love? Who wouldn't like to see Kevin Love in the playoffs, period, to begin with? So uh, uh, the East uh, became very interesting as Miami obviously falls off and with LeBron's move, uh, Cleveland adding Love just becomes instantly, potentially, we'll have to wait and see how they play, uh, potentially uh, elite. Chill, Will, King James, 100% cotton. There's levels to this.